Yeah, right, guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and today I am going to be doing a player review slash player comparison between Team of the Season Royce and Team of the Season Farfan. Both fantastic players, really, really good stats on them, but we'll have a look more at that in a second. Now, if you're looking for some Ultimate Team coins, go and check that link out down in the description. So, the first player we're going to look at is Farfan. You can see that on uh, Farfan's card, he has 94 pace, 87 shooting, 91 dribbling, 72 heading and 89 passing so some pretty unreal stats he has three star weak foot four star skill moves he's right footed and he plays on the right side of the field he cost me 295,000 coins so he is a pretty cheap alternative to using Royce who is about a million coins at the moment now if we look through his in-game stats you can see some pretty dark green stats going on in pretty much every category maybe his defending is a little bit weak which would make him a bit of a disadvantage for going into the right mid position I believe but you can see that his all-round physical attributes are unbelievable just his jumping that really struggles and his strength so we'll have a look at some of the goals that he managed to score for me first off you can see here that we end up intercepting the ball he is in the box and he does manage to head that one in it was quite an a typical goal for him actually I found that he was a much more a player that would be doing the dribbling and scoring the impressive goals you see here this was probably one of my favorite goals that I scored with him a really nice McGeady spin there to go past two or three players and he puts it into the back of the net with the outside boot so he does have the ability to score he doesn't score tons of goals don't get me wrong and I'll sort of go go into that more when I look at both players but um, he has the ability to, you know, to cause trouble. He's sort of like an impact player that will really get in amongst the other team, run at players and cause them a lot of problems. He'll be the one that drops back, picks up the ball and sort of, you know, creates the play rather than being the guy that finishes all the shots. Does have a great free kick, you see there. Really nice shot from outside the box. Um, putting it into the back of the net. Just the curl. And uh, fortunately, the guy had moved his wall over slightly, which did mean it was quite easy to go around the edge. It goes off the inside side of the post as you can see there and uh, a nice goal by Farfan and it was mainly nice goals that he scored he didn't really score any bad goals that was one of my favorites with his left foot uh, on the turn absolutely incredible volley into the back of the net I was really pleased with that one as well so he does have the ability to score some very nice goals and uh, yeah I'd say I really enjoyed using him I would definitely recommend you try picking one of him up now let's have a look at Royce so let's have a quick peek at him. He's got 95 pace, 93 shooting, 87 passing, 93 dribbling, 68 heading and 56 defending. He is a left-sided player, which is unfortunate. I believe he would be a lot stronger if he was central, like in a striker role. And I have to say a massive thanks to P2 who actually lent him to me. I didn't pay for this card. He did cost 1.1 million coins. You can see there he managed to score 11 goals in 11 games. And his in-game stats are pretty unreal. Long shots of 99, one of his best stats. And you can see there he's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot and being on the left side with a strong right foot or his predominant foot being his right one is a massive bonus he comes in he cuts in he scores so many goals and he is absolutely ridiculous he is always always in the space in the right place at the right time to score goals now the thing about him is he's not the kind of guy that's going to score absolutely insane goals all the time but the number of goals he scores is absolutely ridiculous he was the highest scorer on this team and I had S1 playing striker so you can sort of understand where I'm going to with this he's absolutely incredible he scores thousands of goals I've used all of his other left-sided players so his first in form second in form man of the match card all were very very impressive and this is by far the best one he is just unbelievable you see that he's always coming in from that left side coming into the space and he rarely ever misses a shot you just just goal after goal after goal he's got the ability to score from outside the box inside the box go past player good dribbling as well very very good dribbling he's fast I mean the 95 pace that's unreal got the ability to score headers you see there an easy cross an easy goal for him against one guy and um, falling victim to him and this guy brought his goalkeeper out but you see here just the relaxed way that he can just you know do skill moves go past people and score it pretty nicely so um, a very very strong player and I would highly recommend him if you can afford him he is very expensive at 1 million point or 1.1 million coins I think that you may have dipped to about 1 million coins since I started recording this but um, still a fantastic player and maybe one that you should all check out. Now I guess what I'm here to do next is tell you 
which player you should buy if you have to choose between the two of them. They obviously play on different sides of the pitch, so you can pick up both if you have the coins. But if you have the coins just for one, um, I guess you need me to sort of differentiate between the two players. So let's have a quick look at them. We see that Farfan is a lot cheaper than Royce. He's 400,000 coins, whereas Royce is about a million, which means he's about a third of the price, two-fifths of the price, something like that. So there you go. There's a big thing there. If you're all about the cost, that's going to be your decider. Next up for um, for Farfan, the things I like about him, the fact that he's unique, barely anyone ever uses him, I never see Bundesliga squads with Farfan in them, none of his normal cards or his first in form or his team this season, never seen like the, him played in any of them, I rarely ever see them, he's got great pace, he's got you know great physical attributes and he scores some absolutely unbelievable goals. Some really, really nice goals. If you had to compare the two sets of goals that I've just shown you and you had to choose which ones you thought were more impressive, you definitely choose Farfan, despite the fact that he scored less. However, that is obviously one of his weaknesses. The fact that he's not a prolific goal scorer. He's more of a Wayne Rooney. He drops back, picks up the ball and tries to set the play up for his player or his uh, the teammates. And maybe that's something you're looking for in your player. If we look at Royce again, his weakness is going to be the fact that he's very expensive. I've put down a weakness here that he's kind of ununique which means sort of he's quite well known everyone plays against him that means they know what you're going to try and do with him that you're going to go onto his right foot and try and shoot from the cut in when he comes in from the left um, and just generally how he plays he's overused don't get me wrong he's a fantastic player um, but people will know what to expect from him also he is well if we look at his strengths in the other hand you can see that he actually scores absolutely tons he scores he's got a score ratio of one goal per game and in fact it was more like like uh, two goals in every game at the start in the first five games it was just uh, he sort of dropped off towards the end and he has unbelievable positioning as I said in the commentary he is ridiculous he just is always in space ready for that easy tap in or to go through on goal and just obliterate teams so that's my advice guys um, it's really difficult to choose between them if I had to go for it at a push I would choose Farfan just because I would rather pick up a normal Royce as a striker and use him at striker rather than use the left forward version and uh, yeah that's my advice so I hope you have enjoyed the video I don't do many of those these so if you could drop it a like that would be absolutely incredible there will be a squad builder with these two players in it tomorrow in Super Su Squad Builder Sunday so make sure you check that out there will be a link on screen and it, once it goes live then you'll be able to click on it but other than that I'm gonna to have to leave it there I will leave I will stop talking and I will see you all next time